Good evening, brothers and sisters. Before we begin our deliverance prayers to stem the scourge of the COVID-19 pandemic, we gather all our prayer intentions for the protection and well-being of our families, our loved ones, those we cherish, those who have asked us to pray for them, those who have been afflicted by the virus, those in the front line risking their lives to serve others, those who do research to seek for the cure, for the guidance and the enlightenment of all those who lead us, for ourselves, and for all those who passed away because of COVID-19 and all the poor souls in purgatory. We know that Almighty God hears our humble and contrite prayers. He will show mercy to us all, for He is the fount of divine mercy. And if you are experiencing any spiritual, physical, or mental harassment as you join us in prayer, know that the enemy of our salvation hates that we seek the Lord God in the midst of our tribulations and afflictions. <clears throat> Let us now surrender our lives to our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Let us resist the devil, solid in our faith, and he will flee from us, knowing that the family of believers throughout the whole world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And so in confidence, we now pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We come to the throne of divine mercy and ask the Lord to forgive us our sins. Together we pray the act of contrition. Oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended you, and I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because I have offended you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love, I firmly resolve, with the help of your grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Together, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Protector of Holy Church, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and Companion Martyrs, pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Prayer to Saint Michael, the Archangel, for protection. 
Saints Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, for protection. O August Queen and our Lady of Angels, who received from God the power and mission of crushing the head of Satan, we humbly beg you to send us heavenly legions with Saint Michael the Archangel as head, so that under your orders they may chase the demons, combat them everywhere, repress their boldness, and drive them back into the abyss. Who is like God, O good and tender Mother, you shall always be our love and our hope. O Divine Mother, send your holy angels to defend us and to drive away from us the cruel enemy. Holy angels and archangels, defend us and guard us. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph, terror of demons, protector of the Christian family. We turn to you in our, in our tribulation, especially now in this time of the pandemic afflicting humanity, O Blessed Father Joseph. And after having implored the help of your Holy Bride, we likewise solicit your patronage with confidence. By the affection that has united you to the Immaculate Virgin, Mother of our God, and by the paternal love with which you have surrounded the infant Jesus, we beg you to look with kindness at the inheritance that Jesus Christ has won at the price of his blood, and to assist us in our needs. Protect, O most wise guardian of the Holy Family, the chosen race of Jesus Christ. Preserve us, O loving Father, from all taint of error and corruption. Be favorable to us, O our very powerful liberator. From heaven, protect us in the fight we deliver to the power of darkness. And just as you once snatched the infant Jesus from the peril of death, today defend the Holy Church of God against pitfalls of the enemy and all adversity. Cover each of us with your perpetual protection so that by your example and supported by your help, we may live holy and virtuous lives. Grant us that we may have a holy and peaceful death and be able to reach eternal bliss in the kingdom of God. Protect all members of my family. To you, I entrust them all, that they may be saved from their present sorrow and from eternal ruin. Amen. Prayer to our Holy Guardian Angel for protection. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard to rule and guide. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Finally, we be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, 
against the authorities, against the power of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted for the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all these, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert, and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me, that whenever I speak, words may be given, given me, so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare in fearless, may declare it fearlessly as I should. My brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Magandang gabi po muli sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Pamilya, ganito po tayo ituring ng Diyos, tayo po ay kanyang kapamilya. Bagamat tayo ay hindi karapat-dapat, mismo ang Diyos ang yumakap sa ating pagkatao para tayo ay gawing kapamilya. Ano man ang ating pinagdaanan, ating kamalian, ating pagtataksil, hindi ipinagkailan ng Diyos sa tayo ay kanyang mga anak, bahagi ng kanyang pamilya. Tayo ay magalak at tayo ay kiligin sa turing na ito ng Diyos sa atin. At bilang kapamilya, sa tuwing tayo ay nagkakasala, agad na kapayapaan at pagkakasundo ang alay at bigay ng Diyos sa atin. Taliwas naman ito kung paano ituring ng Diyos ang masama, ang Diablo. Sa pananakasulatan, ang digmaan laban sa Diablo at sa lahat ng kanyang kasamaan ay sinusupil at pinagtatagumpayan. Batid natin na ang Diablo ay patuloy na inuusig at tinutukso ang tao para dalhin sa kamatayan at sa kadiliman ng buhay. So, dula ng kasamaan ng Diablo at ang lahat ng pamamaraan ay gagamitin niya para ang tao ay kanyang masilo. Nariyan ang mga kasalanan ng instrumento ng Diablo ang kapalaluan o ang kahambugan, ang inggit, ang katakawan o kasabi, kasabi, kasibaan sa pagkain at inumin, kahalayan o kalibugan, puot o gani, pagkagani, katamaran at, pagkabago, at pagkabagot. Ang lahat ng ito ay nakaumang laban sa tao sapagkat sa pamamagitan ng ating kahinaan doon gumaganti ang Diablo sa Diyos. Hindi kaya sakta ng Diablo ang Diyos kung kaya tayo ang puntirya niya. Tayo na mga minamahal ng Diyos sapagkat alam ng Diablo na kapag tayo ay nasaktan, kayo hindi naman nasasaktan ang Diyos. Paalala sa atin ni San Pablo na tayo ay laging maging handa, maging matatag sa ating pananampalataya at katapatan sa Diyos sa ang Diablo ay laging ding handa na sakmalin tayo, na subatan tayo, na patayin tayo. Sa hanggang ngayon siya ay naniniwala pa rin sa isang kasinungalingan na kailanman ay hindi magiging totoo. Ano yun? Na siya'y magtatagumpay. Yan ang kasinungalingan pinaniniwalaan ng Diablo siya'y magtatagumpay. Mga kapatid, ang pagtitiwag natin sa Pasko ng muling pagkabuhay ni Kristo ay pagpapatunay na meron ng nagtagumpay. Patagal nang nagtagumpay laban sa kasalanan at kamatayan ang Diyos at ang kanyang tagumpay kailanman ay hindi maaaring mabawi, hindi mababawi, mababawi ng muli. Si Jesus ay buhay, sa ang ating tagumpay. Ang katotohanan ito ay kinamumuhian ng Diablo 
Kaya naman patuloy siya nagsusumikap na tayo ay mapasa ilalim niya. Subalit, tayo ay ginagabayan ng Diyos. Siya ang ating lakas at pananggalang. Sabi ni San Pablo sa mga taga Ipeso, tayo ay binigyan ng sandata ng katuwiran, ng ibanghelyo, ng pananampalataya at ng kaligtasan. Binigyan tayo ng salita ng Diyos bilang sandata upang labanan ng Diablo. Inaalok tayo ng Diyos ng mga ito. Mga kapatid, taglay natin bilang mga anak ng Diyos ang mga sandata para labanan ng Diablo. Ngunit, tayo, noong tayo ay binigyan, unti-unti nating tinanggap ang mga regalo ito ng Diyos. Subalit, dapat nating sanayin ang ating mga sarili sa paggamit ng mga ito. Pagsumikapan araw-araw na maging matatag at matapat sa kalooban ng Ama. At taglayin palagi ang biyayang mula sa Diyos na nagpapabanal sa atin. Nandaan natin mga kapatid, wala tayong hindi pwedeng gawin kung patuloy tayong maniniwala at aasa sa tulong at grasya ng Diyos. At sa tuwing tayo ay malalayo sa kalooban niya, huwag nating sayangin ng handong niyang biyaya upang magbalik loob sa Diyos sa pamamagitan ng sakramento ng kumpisaw, sa pamamagitan ng paghingi ng tao sa Kanya mula sa kaibuturan ng ating puso. Ang mga araw na ito ay makahulugan para sa bawat isa sa atin. Paano natin ito iniintindi at pinag-inilayan? Hinahayaan ba natin na tayo ay panghinaan ng loob o mawala ng pag-asa? Iniisip ba natin na tayo ay mga talunan sa labanan ng buhay o mga matagumpay na anak ng Diyos sa tulong ng Kanyang awa at biyaya. Sa labang ito, hindi tayo nag-iisa mga kapatid. Kasama natin ang Diyos. Basta huwag lamang tayong bibitiw. Kasama natin siya at ang ating matibay na, na pananiwala doon ay sapat para mapagtagumpayan natin ang labang ito. Kumisan, aakalain natin na nasupil na ng dilim ang liwanag, subalit hindi. Sapagkat sa dulo ng madilim na lagusan, naroon lagi ang liwanag. Hindi maaaring matalo ng dilim ang liwanag, hindi. Kaya naman, piliin nating manatili sa liwanag at palakasin natin ang tiwala at pananampalataya sa Diyos sapagkat malapit na ang ating tagumpay. Si Jesus na nabuhay, siya ang ating tagumpay. Alleluia! Alleluia! Now brothers and sisters, let us pray against Satan and the apostate angels. Our help is in the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, with confidence in the intercession of the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of the Blessed Michael, the Archangel, of the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, and all the saints, and with assurance in the sacred power of our ministry, we steadfastly proceed with the task of expelling the molestations of the devil's fraud. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven. As wax melts before the fire, so the wicked perish at the presence of God. God arises, and his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven. As wax melts before the fire, so the wicked perish at the presence of God. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven. As wax melts before the fire, so the wicked perish at the presence of God. See the cross of the Lord, be gone ye hostile powers. 
May your mercy, Lord, descend upon us. As great as our hope in you. We drive you from us, whoever you may be, unclean spirits, spirits of death, infirmity, despair, confusion, division, anxiety, avarice and injustice, fear, anger, hatred, lust, sloth and pride, all satanic powers, all infernal invaders, all wicked legions, assemblies, and sects, in the name and by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. We drive you from us, whoever you may be, unclean spirits, spirits of death, infirmity, despair, confusion, division, anxiety, avarice, and injustice, fear, anger, hatred, lust, sloth, and pride, all satanic powers, all infernal invaders, all wicked legions, assemblies, and sects, in the name and by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. We drive you from us, whoever you may be, unclean spirits, spirits of death, infirmity, despair, confusion, division, anxiety, avarice, and injustice, fear, anger, hatred, lust, slot, and pride, all satanic powers, all infernal invaders, all wicked legions, assemblies, and sects, in the name and by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. May you be snatched away and driven from the church of God and from the souls made to the image and likeness of God and redeemed by the precious blood of the divine Lamb. Most cunning serpent, you shall no more dare to deceive the human race, persecute the church, torment God's elect, and seethe them as we. The Most High God commands you, He with whom in your great insolence you still claim to be equal, He who wants all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. God the Father commands you, God the Son commands you, God the Holy Ghost commands you. Christ God's Word made flesh commands you. He who to save our race outdone your envy, humbled himself, becoming obedient even unto death. He who has built his church on the firm rock and declared that the gates of hell shall not prevail against her, because he will dwell with her all days even to the end of the world. The sacred sign of the cross commands you, as does also the power of the mysteries of the Christian faith. The glorious Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, commands you. The glorious Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, commands you. The glorious Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, commands you. The glorious Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, commands you. The glorious Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, commands you. The glorious Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, commands you. The glorious Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, commands you. She who by her humility and from the first moment of her immaculate conception, crush your proud head. The faith of the holy apostles Peter and Paul and of the other apostles commands you. The blood of the martyrs and the pious intercession of all the saints command you. Thus, cursed dragon, and you diabolical legions, we abjure you by the living God, by the true God, by the holy God, by the God who so loved the world that he gave up his only Son, that every soul believing in him might not perish but have life everlasting. Thus, cursed dragon, and you diabolical legions, we abjure you by the living God, by the true God, by the holy God, by the God who so loved the world that he gave up his only Son, that every soul believing in him might not perish but have life everlasting. Thus, cursed dragon, and you diabolical legions, we abjure you by the living God by the true God, by the holy God, by the God who so loved the world that he gave up his only Son, 
that every soul believing in him might not perish, but have life everlasting. Stop deceiving human creatures and pouring out to them the poison of eternal damnation. Stop harming the church and hindering her liberty. Vade Satana! 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 Inventor and master of all deceit, enemy of man's salvation, give place to Christ in whom you have found none of your works. Give place to the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church acquired by Christ at the price of his blood. Stoop beneath your powerful hand of God. Tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and terrible name of Jesus, this name which causes hell to tremble. Tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and terrible name of Jesus, this name which causes hell to tremble. Tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and terrible name of Jesus, this name which causes hell to tremble. This name to which the virtues, powers, and dominations of heaven are humbly submissive. This name which the cherubim and seraphim praise unceasingly, repeating, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, the God of armies. Stop deceiving human creatures and pouring out to them the poison of eternal damnation. Stop harming the church and hindering her liberty. Vade Satana! Vade Satana, 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 Inventor and Master of all deceit, enemy of man's salvation, give place to Christ in whom you have found none of your works. Give place to the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, acquired by Christ at the price of His blood. Stoop beneath the all-powerful hand of God. Tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and terrible name of Jesus, this name which causes hell to tremble, this name to which the virtues, powers, and dominations of heaven are humbly submissive, this name which the cherubim and seraphim praise unceasingly, repeating, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, the God of armies. Stop deceiving human creatures and pouring out to them the poison of eternal damnation. Stop harming the church and hindering her liberty. Vade Satana, Vade Satana, Vade Satana, Vade Satana, Vade Satana, Vade Satana. Vade Satana, Vade Satana, Vade Satana, Vade Satana. Inventor and master of all deceit, enemy of man's salvation, give place to Christ in whom you have found none of your works. Give place to the one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church acquired by Christ at the price of his blood. Stoop beneath the all powerful hand of God. Tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and terrible name of Jesus. This name which causes hell to tremble. This name to which the virtues, powers, and dominations of heaven are humbly submissive. This name with which the cherubim and seraphim praise unceasingly repeating. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, the God of armies. Lord, heed my prayer. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. God of heaven, God of earth, God of angels, God of archangels, God of patriarchs, God of prophets, God of apostles, God of martyrs, God of confessors, God of virgins, God who has power to give life after death and rest after work, because there is no other God than you, and there can be no other. For you are the creator of all things, 
visible and invisible, of whose reign there shall be no end. We humbly prostrate ourselves before your glorious majesty, and we beseech you to deliver us by your power from all the tyranny of the infernal spirits, from their snares, their lies, and their furious wickedness. They know, Lord, to grant us your powerful protection and to keep us safe and sound. We beseech you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. From the snares of the devil. Deliver us, O Lord. From the snares of the devil. Deliver us, O Lord. From the snares of the devil. Deliver us, O Lord. That your church may serve you in peace and liberty. We beseech you to hear us. That your church may serve you in peace and liberty. We beseech you to hear us. That your church may serve you in peace and liberty. We beseech you to hear us. That you may crush down all enemies of your church. We beseech you to hear us. That you may crush down all enemies of your church. We beseech you to hear us. That you may crush down all enemies of your church. We beseech you to hear us. We now ask God the Holy Spirit to fill in all the empty spaces left by the unclean spirits because of our prayer of exorcism and deliverance. God of power, who promised us the Holy Spirit through Jesus, your Son, our risen Lord, we pray to you for all our brothers and sisters. Protect them from the spirit of evil and guard them against error and sin so that they may be a temple of the Holy Spirit. This we humbly ask of you through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Cleansing prayer. Heavenly Father, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray that the cleansing power of the precious blood of your Son come upon us right now. Purify us and wash us clean with the blood of Jesus from the top of our heads down to the very soles of our feet. Let this blood penetrate the very marrow of our bones to cleanse us from any entanglement from whatever spirit we have come in contact with during the course of our intercession. Let this blood penetrate the very marrow of our bones to cleanse us from any entanglement from whatever spirit we have come in contact with during the course of our intercession. Let this blood penetrate the very marrow of our bones to cleanse us from any entanglement from whatever spirit we have come in contact with during the course of our intercession. Anoint us with the gifts of the Holy Spirit and refresh our body, soul, and spirit and may the sign of your Holy Cross drive away all evil spirits from us. My brothers and sisters, on behalf of the Archdiocese of Manila, Office of Exorcism, we would like to thank you for joining us in this prayer of deliverance to stem the scourge of the pandemic. We continue to pray fervently for one another and all those in need of our prayers. May the risen Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God, strengthen us in this spiritual battle we are waging and may our faith hope and charity never waver for Christ is risen alleluia alleluia our next prayer of deliverance would be on Monday tomorrow we pause for divine mercy Sunday 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord bless you. Heal you from all sickness. And deliver you from all evil. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And, and give, give him thanks. thanks. Thank you. 